Welcome to part 1 of selections from Songs of Kabir Vegetarian Songs 77 to 100 Kabir was a great Indian poet who was fully devoted to the creator He was a saint who not only endeavored to live the truth he wrote about it through his divine gift of verse A weaver by profession, Kabir is considered as one of the world's greatest poets and one of the most quoted authors. The Holy Scripture Guru Granth Sahib contains over 500 verses by Kabir. Kabir's message is universal. Perhaps that is why many still revere Kabir as a saint, whether they are a Sikh, Hindu, Muslim, or modern spiritual seekers. In India, the religious community that recognizes Kabir as their prophet is called Kabir Panth. Compositions of Kabir have been compiled into the Holy Bija, considered as a sacred collection of scriptures for devotees of Kabir Panth. It is believed that Kabir was brought up in the Islamic faith by Muslim weavers. In the Islamic world the name Kabir or Al Kabir means the great one it is also one of the names of God given in the Quran Kabir's writings highlight a synthesis between both Muslim and Hindu thought he described himself as being at once the child of Allah and of Ram Let us hear the story as told by Supreme Master Ching Hai during an international gathering in France in 2008. So after Kabir died, Muslim and Hindu fought with each other who would take the body to where. <laughs> so then uh, after discussion for a long time, the body was still laying in the coffin waiting until next morning. when they decided both to come there to debate about who would take the coffin home <laughs> you know the master body and then they open the coffin they see nothing in there he only saw one rose in the coffin the body is gone just one rose the symbol of love eh? unification love is only one there's no muslim there's no hindu the master wanted to leave the message like that the book the songs of kabir illustrates the mystic thoughts and emotions whose range includes ecstasy despair beatitude devotion eagerness illuminations and intimate love of god Today we would like to introduce you to the wisdom from the songs of Kabir the selections from songs 77 to 88 reveal the importance of seeking and practicing with a perfect living master and the genuine path to god realization Song 77 Oh my heart let us go to that country where dwells the beloved the ravisher of my heart there love is filling her pitcher from the well yet she has no rope wherewith to draw water there the clouds do not cover the sky yet the rain falls down in gentle showers o bodiless one do not sit on your doorstep go forth and bathe yourself in that rain there it is ever moonlight and never dark and who speaks of one sun only that land is illuminated with the rays of a million suns song 81 in the beginning was he alone sufficient unto himself the formless colorless and unconditioned being then was there neither beginning middle nor end then were no eyes no darkness no light then were no ground air nor sky no fire water nor earth no rivers like the ganges and the jamna no seas oceans and waves then was neither wise nor virtue scriptures there were not as the vedas and puranas nor as the quran kabir ponders in his mind and says then was there no activity the supreme being remained merged in the unknown depths of his own self 
the guru neither eats nor drinks neither lives nor dies neither has he form line color nor vesture he who has neither caste nor clan nor anything else how may i describe his glory he has neither form nor formlessness he has no name he has neither color nor colorlessness he has no dwelling place song 82 kabir ponders and says he who has neither caste nor country who is formless and without quality fills all space the creator brought into being the game of joy and from the word om the creation sprang the earth is his joy his joy is the sky his joy is the flashing of the sun and the moon his joy is the beginning the middle and the end his joy is eyes darkness and light oceans and waves are his joy his joy the saraswati the jamuna and the ganges the guru is one and life and death union and separation are all his place of joy his play the land and water the whole universe his play the earth and the sky in play is a creation spread out in play it is established the whole world says kabir rests in his play yet still the player remains unknown song 84 the beggar goes a begging but i could not even catch sight of him and what shall i beg of the beggar he gives without my asking kabir says i am his own now let that befall which may befall song 85 My heart cries aloud for the house of my lover the open road and the shelter of a roof are all one to her who has lost the city of her husband my heart finds no joy in anything my mind and my body are distraught his palace has a million gates but there is a vast ocean between it and me how shall i cross it o oh friend for endless is the outstretching of the path How wondrously this lyre is wrought when its strings are rightly strung it maddens the heart but when the keys are broken and the strings are loosened none regard it more i tell my parents with laughter that i must go to my lord in the morning they are angry for they do not want me to go and they say she thinks she has gained such dominion over her husband that she can have whatsoever she wishes and therefore she is impatient to go to him dear friend lift my veil lightly now for this is the night of love kabir says listen to me my heart is eager to meet my lover i lie sleepless upon my bed remember me early in the morning song 88 This day is dear to me above all other days for today the beloved lord is a guest in my house my chamber and my courtyard are beautiful with his presence my longings sing his name and they are become lost in his great beauty i wash his feet and i look upon his face and i lay before him as an offering my body my mind and all that i have What a day of gladness is that day in which my beloved who is my treasure comes to my house all evils fly from my heart when i see my lord my love has touched him my heart is longing for the name which is truth thus sings kabir the servant of all servants vegan Because to feast on the suffering of other beings is barbarous, inhumane, and absolutely unacceptable. Jubilant viewers, thank you for being with us today for words of wisdom.